Felisa Serrano grew up in the Philippines in a large, close-knit family with 11 siblings. She longed to immigrate to Canada to improve her life and to help the lives of her extended family of nieces and nephews. Armed with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, she felt confident in her ability to find work. Finally, in 1991, Lisa came to Canada on a domestic workers' contract, and for two years, she lived with the Toronto family as their housekeeper. Then, she looked for a job in her field, but had to settle for work in a bakery, and after that, a hotel laundry. During her first few years in Canada, she faced difficulties with language and culture, economic hardship, and was desperately lonely for her family back home. Uh, call them once in a while if I can afford it, um, but uh, because I'm earning that uh, very minimum wage, like um, $750 a month, um, and then I have to send money so uh, some of my um, uh, nieces and nephews can go to school, um, helping them um, is my priority. Lisa worked hard to improve her chances of a better job, and although she obtained certificates in computer technology and export business management, she still wasn't able to find a job in the business field. With a quiet determination, Lisa stuck to her goals and finally discovered skills for change. They helped her to focus and gain confidence. The agency trained her to fit into the Canadian workforce. In 1998, when she graduated from the Computerized Clerical Accounting Program, a co-op placement at the Canadian Pacific Hotel Corporation was immediately arranged for her by Skills for Change. She had very exceptional attitude toward achievement of her own goal. She had a very clear goal in mind. Uh, she has her uh, degree from Philippines in accounting, but at that time she was working as a laundry room clerk. And she really wanted to move on to, you know, to get a career in Canada. And I think that she's getting there right now. So I think that has to be rewarded, you know. At the end of her two-month placement, she was hired full-time as an accounting clerk. And six months later, she was promoted to accounts receivable analyst. Since coming to Canada, Lisa has spent much of her time volunteering. Whether working in the office at Bayview Community Hospice or filing medical records at the Markham Scoville Hospital, she is a dedicated volunteer. Felisa is eager to continue her community involvement while pursuing her professional goal of obtaining a financial designation. I'm proud of being out of employment insurance, getting a job, um, 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 getting this position as an AR analyst that um, at last they recognize my skills, my diploma back home, my education, and um, receiving this award is a big honor. A shining example of what hard work and determination can do.